What's up, y'all, and welcome into the Jack Vita Show. I'm your host, as always, Jack Vita. Today we are we have our first exit interview from the latest person eliminated from Deal or No Deal Island. It was Claudia Jordan. We're going to talk with her. We got about 10 minutes or so. This is part of the media round, so our time is limited, but I'm going to fit in as many questions as I can. We'll be having these come out each week sometime after the episode. We'll have our recaps come out on Tuesdays, and then these, for the plan is for these to come out maybe Wednesdays or Thursdays, maybe even Fridays. We'll see. It'll be sometime uh, later in the week, and then our recap will be out Tuesday, and of course the episodes will air on Monday. Brooke most likely will not be able to join me for these exit interviews because she has a job. <laughs> she has a real job. She's She works as an attorney in family law, so she's super busy. Um, but we will probably get some questions from her in the future, and I'll read those questions or I'll ask them, or maybe we'll get some questions from her kids. Uh, but that's how this is going to go. So now I'm going to bring in Claudia, and we're going to have a, a fun interview. And now we are speaking with the latest person, unfortunately, eliminated from Deal or No Deal Island, episode three. It's Claudia Jordan. Claudia, thank you for joining me this morning. It's it's unfortunate that this was this was it for you. I know. I hate I couldn't give you guys more episodes of my commentary from the sidelines calling it like it is because don't nobody call it out like I do. I will say that. I will call you out. That is true. On your BS, and I will not sugarcoat it, but it will be the truth. It's not mean if it's the truth. No, you you tell it like it is. You make good TV. I was bummed that you were out early. I was hoping you'd stick around a little longer. Mm -hmm. uh, first thing I'd like to know, speaking of, I, I'm glad you censored yourself with BS there. There was a lot of censoring in this episode. There were some bad words being thrown around. Can you let me know what words were used by telling me the first letter of those words? F. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think, F. I think, yeah. I yeah. And I'm like, don't be trying to play the little old, nice, sweet old lady. Oh, I don't need help with the mud. But then you're going to talk like that. Girl, bye. I'm not allowing it. I wouldn't allow it in real life. I'm not going to allow it on television in front of millions of people. And I just feel like people be getting real bold when they're one on one with folks, but then they don't want to keep the same energy in your face because she'd still try to deny it. Um, but that's on her. You know what I mean? Like, People, the world saw what the way you behaved. I, I just called it out. I, because I don't like people lying in my face. I don't like people. I didn't do that. I didn't target you. Yes, you did. Stop, girl. Bye, girl. Stop. So you guys all had a plan to get her out. Was Stephanie the only person that was defecting from that, or did you think there was anyone else that was not on board with that plan? Uh, Stephanie was the only person I saw defecting, but it's crazy because. The way she just got amnesia on the spot was insane because she was actually one of the people that helped craft the plan. Alyssa went to her first, I believe, and told her what she was thinking. Then they came to me in the tent and told me the deal. And she was all giddy. I One thing about reality that frustrates me is, oh, when things get edited out, because I'm like, she was giddy, whispering in my ear. Yeah, we're going to do this. And then on the platform, I, I don't know. I, the peer pressure, girl, bye. You are so full of it right now because you were all in. And then to switch up like that on the spot, it's giving you want a moment. It's giving you want to sabotage. It's giving, you know, one thing with TV, it's like, do you really feel like this or are you just doing this for a moment on television? Because you got your moment. Congratulations. But you also look bad. And I try to pull it to the side on the platform. And I said, what are you doing? You're building distrust. Stop it. She threw everyone under the bus. Now, Kim knows that there's plotting going on behind her back. And now she's going to try to get revenge on people that she fails, like kind of sold her out like Alyssa. And I just feel like that was really selfish to do that. She blew up everybody's spot. So I don't regret anything I said about her. Um, I would say it again. And I would stay with my chest. And you saw what happened last time. I spoke. And trees fell down because Mother Nature was like, that's right, Claudia, you right. Post on. Was that crazy? The tree was like, it fell down out of nowhere. I did my thing and I was like, it feels so good to release this because I was playing nice during the day, like not letting her know that I know. And then to just like, it is so much freedom when you know someone's being like dirty to you and you have to play nice. Like at work, I'm sure we've all had situations where you got to like 
be the bigger person, not say anything, hold your tongue. But when you can release, I will not say it's better than sex or chocolate, but it's pretty up there. I will say it's a close number three. That kind of release, like, yes, I don't have to be fake anymore. Would you have a, so yes, it, it felt amazing. How long did that confrontation last? Was that a lot longer than we saw on TV? Yeah, it was a little longer, but then I'm glad NBC kept a lot of it in. Um, you see us pleading with Stephanie, like, girl, what are you doing? There was a lot of that. There was a lot of confusion, like, what? why are you doing this? It made no sense to do this. And she still was silly because she still didn't even pick Rob's case. She picked my case because I was the one that, the only one that like stood up to like man up and hey, let's just keep this thing things on track. You you did all that to steal a middle case that wasn't even the top value. You could have just kept, you could have kept that girl. Like you could have just like, it showed the kind of, it exposed her. Like you did all that to not even take Rob's case, which was like, she said on the show, she instantly regretted it. Well, too late, ma'am. So it made no sense to do all of that just to be average. Right. Why did you sacrifice your spot in your case? I was trying to stop the bleeding because the more Stephanie was talking, the more she was letting Kim know that there was like a little alliance against her. And before that, I don't think she knew. And I was also trying to protect Alyssa because Alyssa the night before had spent the whole night with Kim. Alyssa was really sick and Kim and her were both in the, um, there's like this like gazebo thing that they were in and and they were talking all night. And um, Alyssa is the one that let Rob and I know that Kim was talking trash about us and saying some really mean, rude stuff. And um, she's the one that came up with a plan. So I felt like she kind of sacrificed her relationship with Kim to let us know. So I kind of have to do her a solid and try to kind of keep it together a little bit. So I was trying to be a little protective. And I know once Kim found out about this plan, she was going to go after Alyssa, you know, for sure. She was, and Alyssa's like, you know, she don't bother nobody. She's so frail and petite and you just want to like protect her, you know, but she's actually a player. So stay tuned. That's all I got to say. Stay tuned. Yeah. Honey. Going down. I've been job. impressed with their gameplay so far. I'm curious to know, had you won the deal or no deal game at the end, who would you have picked off? Uh, it was definitely between uh, Kim and Stephanie and everybody thought it was going to be Kim, but I was going to go for, uh, it was going to be Stephanie because Kim is Kim. She's just trying so hard to be a villain. Cause that's been her. She's like a reality show fanatic. Stephanie really surprised me and it kind of hurt my heart to see that girl go out like that. Like I was like, girl, like you're like a, um, what is she? She like works in like with babies and stuff like a mid, like, like, like a mid, what is she, what does she do? She does sound with babies. The kind of job she has is someone that's some someone that's got to be very empathetic and kind and caring. So when she did that, I was like, "Are you okay? Are you okay right now?" Like, and people can justify things all they want. Oh, it's a game. Like you can't be sensitive. Mm, you still got to be human, and you shouldn't really divert too far away from who your personality is. So I was gonna surprise everyone and take out uh, Stephanie, with the logic being. Kim's on the bottom two every single week. You know, it won't be hard for her to lose another challenge. Someone else could just take her. She'll take herself out eventually. So that's what I was thinking. You know, yeah, it would have been it would have been Stephanie all day long. What was it like being on the other side this time before you were one of the models and now you're one of the players? Newfound respect for the contestants. I've been watching Deal and Odeal marathons. It's been like on television. So um I've been watching and I'm like, wow, like I so sympathize with the people that were on the show and and they would like get upset emotional because it is very stressful it's extremely stressful like you doubt yourself then you also are conflicted with but i'm a good person i feel like the amount should be in my i should win because i'm a good person like a lot of things go through your mind so it was very enlightening like i have a newfound respect we think it was easy on the sidelines but it's really hard it's hard Last thing I want to know, what didn't we see last night? Or actually, better question, what surprised you about what you watched last night? Was there anything that you saw that you were like, oh, interesting, I didn't know that? Or was there something that you're like, oh, I thought this would have been shown and it would have made a little more sense? I wish they would have shown how much Stephanie was involved in the plan because she really was. And it would really show the betrayal even more. But I think they showed enough where you get it. 
Um, I didn't know Rob was talking trash about us being his soldiers. Like, like we were his minions. Cause that certainly wasn't the way I was looking at it. And I'll be damned if I'm anyone's soldier or minion, I'll be your co-captain. But there was no, you know, I wasn't bowing down to Rob. I never even seen Rob before in my life. I've never seen Survivor. Um, I just saw clips of, you know, I know Richard Hatch is from Rhode Island and I think he won the first one. So I wasn't familiar with his, I wasn't intimidated by him cause I didn't know his backstory. I heard from the other people, oh, he won Survivor a bunch of times. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Um, so when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, I see you. You talking. But then again, that's what people do in the the interviews on the side. Like they 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 throw the pot and he knows what he's doing. It's good TV. So I'm not mad at him. And I also wasn't intimidated by him. And I, I actually would have, I, I wasn't with the plan of trying to get the people out that they thought were bigger threats. I think you should, um, you want to build that is a different show. You want to build a pot up together. So keep the players that are going to build that pot up. So hopefully the goal is at the end, you're the one that's playing for all the big money, but everyone didn't get that. Claudia, thank you so much for your time today. We're out of wow. time right now. I uh, would love to have you on again at some point, talk more deal or no deal Island. Um, yeah, sure. Is there anything that is there, do you want to put your social media handle out there or anything that people can check out that you're working on? Yeah. At Claudia Jordan on Instagram and Twitter. And I have another show coming out, College Hill, where it's six, six celebrities competing. We go back to college. It's very hard. And you'll see, I actually get bruised up. I bleed on that show. But in the end, I cannot wait for y'all to see how that, that show ends. A lot of, lot of drama on that show. Also, five days a week on uh, Fox Soul. It's called TGIF, Hot Topic Show. You can watch it on YouTube, DirecTV, Smart TV. It's one of like 16 platforms. And I got some films coming out. So, you know, my phone's been blowing up. So thank you to everybody that showed me love. Thank you to NBC, NBC Casting. Y'all really made me feel good to be um, included in this show. So I hope to work with you guys more in the future. I really do. Claudia, thank you so much for your time today. Good luck with all that stuff. Thanks, Jack. All right, bye. All right, y'all. That does it today for my quick little exit interview with Claudia Jordan. Uh, man, oh my gosh, a lot of insights. Very interesting to hear about her perspective, her gameplay, and a lot of things that were going on there that we might not have seen. As she said, I mean, hey, if she wants to come back, we'd love to have her on one of our recaps to talk about the show. Um, it was it was very fun meeting her, and it was fun watching her. Unfortunately for her. She is gone, but there are a lot of great players left in this game, so it'll be a lot of fun to follow Deal or No Deal Island as we move along. Like I said, we've got weekly recaps and exit interviews every single week, so you're going to want to hit subscribe to this channel. It's the Jack Vita Show. Uh, you can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever podcasts are found. Hit subscribe here on YouTube. Leave us a comment. Uh, let me hear your thoughts. Who do you think is going to go next? What's going to happen next week? Would love to hear what you guys are thinking about. You can also follow me on social media at Jack Vita Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, I'm Jack Vita. Bring in the dance of lobsters. <laughs>